Greetings, you are watching Daily V News headlines. Following are today's stories. Vietnam Indonesia look towards strategic partnership. Vietnam Switzerland seek stronger ties. National Assembly Chairman visits Vietnam News Agency. August car sales jump 10%. Vietnam and Indonesia have agreed to promote cooperation to bring bilateral ties to a new height, looking towards the strategic partnership. At the talks in Jakarta on September the 14th, Prime Minister Nguyen Tấn Dung and host Indonesian President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono agreed on the need for closer ties in politics, security, defense, economics, agriculture, education, control and sports. Prime Minister Dung spoke highly of the two countries' move to maintain the Joint Committee on Economic, Scientific, Technological Cooperation. He asked the two sides to convene the sixth section of the committee soon. He held Indonesia's proposal on the establishment of a Joint Committee on Bilateral Cooperation at ministerial level. The two leaders also agreed to continue activities to promote trade and investment and encourage cooperation in the private sector. After the talks, the two leaders witnessed the signing of the Vietnam-Indonesia Action Program for the 2012-2015 period and a memorandum of understanding on joint activities to increase information exchange and bilateral consultation between the two foreign ministries. During his current official visit to Switzerland, Deputy Prime Minister Huang Chunghai held talks with the head of the Swiss Federal Department of Economic Affairs, Johann Schneider Amann, in Bern on September 13th. Johann Schneider Amann affirmed Switzerland will continue to promote cooperation with and provide assistance for Vietnam in the fields of finance, banking, foodstuff, pharmacy, industry, and cement. Deputy Prime Minister Hai said, Vietnam always attaches importance to and wants to boost the traditional friendship and multifaceted cooperation with Switzerland. He highly valued the Swiss government's pledge to prioritize official development assistance to Vietnam till 2016. At the talks, the two sides reached consensus on a number of major orientations and concrete measures to boost bilateral ties, especially in trade, investment, finance, and banking. After the talks, Hai and Johan Schneider Armand witnessed the signing of a memorandum of understanding on cooperation between the two foreign ministries, a memorandum of understanding on technical assistance and capacity building for the Vietnamese finance ministry, a memorandum of understanding on cooperation in labor and jobs, and a project to improve the treatment of waste water and solid waste in Vietnam's towns. The same day, a seminar on finance and banking took place in Bern with the participation of many Swiss leading financial and banking experts, inflation control, finance supervision, forecasting and monetary policy building topped the agenda at the seminar. Chairman of the National Assembly Nguyen Sinh Hung visited the Vietnam News Agency on the occasion of its 66th anniversary on September 14. Chairman Hung stressed VNA's political talks and role in providing information on activities of the party and the state, especially the elections of the National Assembly and the People's Councils at all levels in May. The chairman extended his greetings to all VNA staff, reporters, editors, and technical workers. He said he wished they would continue to exert efforts to fully perform all functions and tasks. On September 15, 1945, VNA transmitted to the world its first bulletin in Vietnamese, English and French that featured the historic Declaration of Independence read by President Ho Chi Minh at Badding Square to establish the Democratic Republic of Vietnam along with the member list of the provisional government of the new Vietnam. That historic day became the founding day of VNA. VNA now boasted a strong contingent of over 2,200 cops and reporters with a network of bureaus in all 63 cities and provinces nationwide and 27 others in foreign countries, producing 40 times of information products. 
General Director Chen Mai Hung said that over the past 66 years of development, VNA had worked diligently to maintain its role as the official provider of information and documents of the party and state. The Vietnam News Agency's TV channel, V News, recently added a new program. The new edition is to be discussing family issues aiming to raise public awareness and prevention of domestic violence, contributing to promoting equality and happiness in the modern families. The program for a happy family includes news, information about domestic violence, short stories about family issues, and answers to general queries about family life. It is broadcast twice a month at 9.15 p.m. on Mondays, with the first episode shown on August 18. The 25-minute program, which included family news, reports, and talks with experts, will convey ethical values and discuss lifestyle and family behavior and measures to prevent domestic violence. Up next, a conference to promote tourism investment in Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, and Myanmar took place in Ho Chi Minh City on September 13th. Attending the conference, theme for countries one destination, were the minister in charge of tourism of Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, and Vietnam. The event provided a forum for discussion of ways to attract investment in tourism infrastructure and promote the effective and sustainable development of tourism potential in the four countries in order to bring benefits to both investor and local communities. At the event, delegates affirmed that promoting the image of four countries as a joint destination would help foster their cooperation in tourism and contribute to boosting cooperative ties between the countries in the region. In recent years, the tourism sector of Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, and Vietnam had developed rigorously. The four countries received about 10.9 million visitors' arrivals last year, a year-on-year -year increase of almost 25 percent. An arts program come awards ceremony honoring tourism businesses from Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, and Vietnam was held the same day in Ho Chi Minh City. Tourism Minister of the Four Countries and Representative of Localities and International Travel Agencies attended the event. The organizing board awarded prizes to travel agencies, hotels and restaurants, and allied with good performance last year. The awards aim to encourage them to continue maintain the achievement, contributing to the development of the tourism sector of the four countries in the future. Vietnam Automobile Manufacturers Association made a statement that its members sold nearly 10,000 cars last month, a 10% increase from the same period last year. Association official Nguyễn Trung Hiếu said sales has slipped this year until August, which is the first month where association members have enjoyed a growth in sales. Association sell figures for the eight months till August reached more than 70,000 units, a 2% increase compared to last year. Passenger costs jumped to 28.9%, but commercial costs fell by 13%. In these eight months, the Zhenghai Auto Corporation had the highest sell figures, selling 20,736 units. It was followed by Toyota with 19,058 vehicles. Challenges and Outlooks of Information Technology Development in Vietnam, Opportunities for Cooperation Between France and Vietnam was the theme of a seminar in Hanoi on September 13. The event is held by the Ministry of Information and Communications and the French Trade Commissions in Vietnam. It offered an opportunity for both sides to learn about each other's information technology market. French firms are expected to help Vietnam in information technology application and human resources training. In May, the Asian Development Bank approved a credit worth 190 million US dollars for the Hanoi University of Science and Technology to build facilities and train human resources. France pays special attention to information technology training in its ties with Vietnam. Therefore, France will have the university as part of a cooperation agreement signed by the two governments in November 2009.
Vietnam is listed among the top 10 nations in terms of software industry attraction. Its information technology industry has seen a growth of 20% a year. In 2010, the industry posted a revenue of 7.6 billion US dollars. And that's the end of today's program. We'll bring you more news in the next edition.